So I'm here in the DMS location in my file explorer and I'm in the workspace folder right here. And I've already explained the 0.cfg just loads up the DGN. So that doesn't have any of the CSVs. The CSVs are going to be these right here that are defined by these three numbers. These two CFGs are going to represent from the workspace from the DGN you loaded every single variable that is defined there. So it looks like I've opened two unique workspaces and work sets because I have two right here. So I can just look and see that this one was the latest one I, I opened and so this is the one I'm wanting to troubleshoot. So that's the one I want to have opened. So I have it opened right here on the right side and you can see it's really long and it includes every single variable that's being loaded. And then over here is where I have CFGs open that represent the CSVs. So I have 544.cfg opened and it says this file represents the configuration settings block mo.default work area. So if I go to ProjectWise Explorer and I'm on the properties of the DGN, I can see mo.default work area. Mo.default work area. So this is the CSV I have loaded, I have opened that corresponds to the predefined CSV that is assigned to the DGN. So this CSV in ProjectWise Administrator looks like this. I have MoDOT configuration root defined right here. You can see it. It's defined to a ProjectWise folder. MoDOT version CFG is defined to a specific CFG that is within ProjectWise. And then I have some if else statements to help me find some errors and then that's going to display all of the CFG variables. So how do we interpret that from the CFG? So if you don't have access to ProjectWise Administrator but you want to understand what is going on in the CSVs, this is how you can do it. So I have that 544.cfg open and I can see the mo.configuration root which corresponds to this MoDoc configuration route. So it says it's pointing to a folder location within the DMS location. So this looks different than how it is defined in the CSV. And this is some project wise type jargon to us, but to be able to understand it a little bit more, the variable DMS folder 20715, if I have it this open right here. I can just do a search for that variable. So I'll go modot configuration and there it is. Modot configuration root. I can see it's pointing to my DMS location of the 2715 right there. So if I go to that location here, I can see it has my startup CFG. So the next variable that is defined is the MoDOT version CFG. And if we remember here, it's defining that ORD startup CFG, which is at the DMS location here. So I'm going to do a word search in this CFG for MoDOT version and it's just the second one just below it and if I make that a little bit bigger we can see that it's pointing within that same DMS location and it's loading that startup CFG. So to be able to interpret how the CSVs are being defined, you're going to need to use both of these CFGs 
simultaneously to make sense of what is happening in the CSBs if you do not have access to them. This last variable, display all CFG vars equals one, is more easily understood because it's not pointing to a project-wise folder that's located within some of our DMS folders. And so it's pretty simple to understand right there.